how can you end poverty once and for all? Have you ever found yourself asking that question? Your back may be against the wall right now. Money is not looking great. And your situation right now is not looking so hot. And you're just left wondering, how can I boost my life up to become rich and abundant instead of staying in poverty all the time? Let me share my personal story with you, which I believe you can learn a lot from. Growing up in my hometown for most of my life, I've been living with my mom and my grandma. And my mom and my grandma, as well as my dad, were the types of individuals that they didn't really have a good relationship with money, especially my grandma. They always believed that money was scarce, that there was not enough money to go around to create the lifestyle that they want for themselves, that you have to fend for yourself, you have to work really hard, keep your nose to the grindstone, and you can earn as much money as you can, but you can't earn a lot of it. I was programmed from my upbringing that money was scarce and not easily attainable. I learned this from my grandma especially, my mom had the same programming, and so did my dad as well. But you wanna know something? It wasn't their fault because most people live their lives conditioned to think this way about money. That money is always scarce and there's not enough of it to go around. That if you wanna earn a lot of money, you have to work super duper hard in order to be able to earn as much money as possible. But even after the bills are paid for, there's still not enough to go around. And as I got older and into my teenage and adult, young adult years, I realized that it made me afraid of asking for more. When I was asked, what do you want to accomplish in your life? Or how much money do you want to be able to earn in your life? That question was hard for me to answer. But it's also hard for a lot of people to answer that question because we've been conditioned to where we're not in a position to ask for more, to ask for more money than what we're currently earning or not earning. So this conditioning that I was brought up with, thanks to my family, it left me afraid of asking for more. I did not believe that it was appropriate to ask for more because growing up, my mom, my dad, even my grandma were always telling me whenever I asked for something, they would say, oh, Mark, we don't have the money for that. Oh, Mark, where are we going to get the money? We cannot afford that. Oh, we can't get that. We're on a very tight budget. Oh, sorry, we can't do it. And I remember many times that this happened to me time and time again, and it left me with reinforced feelings of disappointment. I felt so disappointed growing up when I was always told that we can't afford that or we can't do this because there's never enough money that reinforced feelings of disappointment affected me when I was growing up and going into my young adult years. And so there was one point in my life where I got depressed, stressed out, and feeling hopeless. And that was during the year of 2017 when not only did I end up going unemployed without unemployment pay for the next nine months, but I also just felt so depressed to the point where I didn't feel like anything was going to get better, that I was always going to have to be scrambling to fend for myself and to get scraps and just conjure up like money here and there, but never a consistent income. I didn't feel like I had any hope. 
And it wasn't until that when I got involved with affiliate marketing, when I started building this business and I started receiving coaching and mentorship, that I realized the importance of not only working on your mindset, but I also realized the importance of working on the relationship that I had with money. I didn't have a great relationship with money. In fact, my poor relationship with money led me to becoming depressed, hopeless, and stressed out. I didn't feel like I was deserving of earning more money than what I was currently earning. And that all stemmed back from my upbringing with my family. Now, you may realize this with your own situation right now. You may be realizing as you're listening to my personal story, you may find yourself realizing that the programming that you had with money also comes from your upbringing with your family and other people around you. Now, I remember what one of my mentors, Rich Guzman, said. He said, it's so crazy what money can do to people psychologically. And it couldn't be further from the truth. What you want to do in order to end poverty once and for all is have a better relationship with money. But you may be sitting there and wondering, well, Mark, I don't have anything in my bank account right now. So how can I have a better relationship with money if I don't have money right now? Well, this all ties into the self-talk that you have with yourself, in particularly about money. Yes, right now at this present moment in time, you may not have any money right now, but it doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. And how do you attract more abundance and riches into your life? You got to change that thinking around. You got to change your inner self talk. You got to change that inner self talk that you have with money. Instead of saying, oh, I'm so broke. I'm never going to have enough money to be able to enjoy my life. Flip that belief around and replace it with money flows easily to me and through me. Even though I may not have money Right now, it doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. I will figure it out and a solution will come to me. Now, you don't have to phrase it in those exact words, but that's just to give you an idea of how you can start changing those money mindset beliefs that you have. Because the reason why you're stuck in poverty all the time, why you're not successful, why you're not able to be earning the kind of income that you want for yourself and your loved ones right now is because you have a sucky relationship with money. You've been programmed to believe that m people that have a lot of money are evil. I mean, let's face it, we, we've seen it in all of media from Superman and Lex Luthor to movies about mafia gangs having tons of money and they earn that money from selling drugs. Things like that have had an impact on our programming. They've been conditioned to us to be led to believe that we don't deserve to be earning a lot of money, that we only just need to be earning a very small portion just to get by. But do you really want to always be on survival mode all the time? Do you always want to have to stress out at the end of each and every month and keep wondering where the money is going to come from next? There's no need to do any of that. In fact, you can do something about it right now in this present moment. You can start by getting rid of the beliefs that you have about money and replacing them with better ones. How about this one? Money is the root of all evil. Have you heard of that before? Instead of believing money is the root of all evil, you got to realize something. 
You got to change that belief around and replace it with money is a tool that I can use to enhance my lifestyle. It's not the money that's evil. It's that some people do bad things to earn that money in which they don't deserve it. But it doesn't mean that the money is evil. Money is a tool that we can use to improve the quality of our lives. Money is always in circulation. You see, if you decide right now and make that decision to start changing the way you see money, you start changing that self-talk that you have with it, you're going to find that it's going to improve your life a lot. And if you're building a business right now, it's going to help you to take the necessary action steps that you need to do in order to start seeing results in your business. You can't build a successful business. You can't have a successful life if your mindset around money is always jacked up. You got to clean those cobwebs inside your head and start replacing those toxic beliefs about money with better ones. Money is a tool that I can use to improve my life. Money is a resource that I can use to my advantage. Money is something that flows easily to me and through me. If you would just change that self-talk you have with money, watch how your life improves, especially how it improves your business, because that is going to make all the difference.